2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. That's a look at our setting tonight. The Allen's ended up. Kevin, thanks. He stays working and stays true. David, thank you. And they'll have some minutes to make up for with an injury in their roster. Missing a valued contributor, that can be a challenge. We'll see how they answer the bell. The starters for the Portland Trailblazers, pairing up in the backcourt, Lillard and McCollum. Nurkic is out there with Robert Covington, and it's Powell in at the three, the small forward. And for Milwaukee, Middleton and Giannis are the forward tandem. Dante DiVincenzo, he's out there with Holiday, and it's Lopez in its center, locking down the middle. The shot by Middleton, wide open, drops in the tray. Terrific, talented backcourts tonight, Greg. Did it ever add anything for you playing across another top-level guard? Listen, it raises the stakes, no doubt about it. You always want the opportunity to play against the best because you want to see where you stand, but... In the end, even when you know a guy's better than you, and you're going to have that be the case a lot of nights, you still know that you will have an ability to impact the outcome when it comes to winning. And, and that's where you have to keep your focus. And onto Takumbo swings it in. Fundamental play there from Lopez, spotting the open man and then sending him the ball. Lillard, the pass to McCollum. Back to Lillard. The pass to Nurkic. Shot clock at five. Deflects the pass. Stolen by Holiday. And they're pushing it up. Here's onto Takumbo. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. Giannis has got his second bucket. Man, right off the bat, super sharp here offensively. Four of five so far. And as much as Holiday brings to your offense, it's his defense that's repeatedly recognized. Well, when you make all NBA defensive teams and you're smart and strong and quick like Drew Holiday is, I think not only does the reputation start to build, but your confidence in disrupting somebody else by playing that way is something you rely on. Now here is Holiday following the miss by C.J. McCollum. Lopez kicks to Holiday. Onto Takumbo, passes to Middleton. Fires the three. No good, shot missing. Now the Trailblazers take it the other way. Powell for three. The putback. The rebound by the Bucks. Still searching out their offensive game right now. One of five from the field to start this one. And here's DiVincenzo from the arc. Giannis on the follow. Onto Takumbo's got six. And getting out in transition has been a big part of this run that they're on. Lillard against Holiday. It's tipped. Cullen passes to Lillard. And he uses the glass on the layup. Always an appreciation for Lillard and his build, just how rugged he is, along with that fearlessness. And here's Holiday. Pass to DiVincenzo. He feeds it to Lopez. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. Big group substitution here for Milwaukee. Portis, he's checked in for Lopez. P.J. Tucker comes in for Antetokounmpo. Pat Connaughton, he's checked in for Dante DiVincenzo. And it's Bryn Forbes in for Drew Holiday. The Trailblazers also changing it up. Cantor, he's checked in for Yusuf Nurkic. Carmelo Anthony comes in for Robert Covington. And it's Simons in for Lillard. It's McCollum with the drive. Goes back up. And Cantor with the lay-in. Good. One of the game's very best offensive rebounders. Cantor also has the wherewithal to quickly convert for the score. Here is Forbes. An easy two points on the layup. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they shot the basketball. Now McCollum. Inside, how Great pass to set up the lay-in. Like the execution there from Cantor. Usually likes to score, this time with the pass. 
Here is Forbes. To the paint. He's looking for Portis and finds him. Middleton with it. Unloads from 13. No good on the shot. I'm shocked he missed that wide open look. He has to feel embarrassed he blew that one. Here's Powell. Knocks it loose. Dives for it. Fast break, Milwaukee. Middleton leading the charge. The three. The rebound by Simons. McCollum fires from way outside. And that one released in time, but no good. And that does it for the first quarter. This is what Giannis Antetokounmpo recently told us when he was asked about his goals this past week. For me personally, I just want to get better. I want the team to get better. I won. And for Giannis, Greg, the consistency from range has been a focal point. Yeah, the more accurate he is from outside, the wider the driving lanes become, making him nearly impossible to stop. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And look what we've seen from Milwaukee. What do you think, guys? Well, their effort on the defensive end has set the tone for this game. Yeah, defense has been infectious here as everybody stepping up aggressively on that end. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor. All fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. On the court for the Trailblazers, Ennis Cantor is out there with Anthony. Then it's Jones. Then there's C.J. McCollum. And it's Simons in at the point. The Bucks making a switch here. Holiday's checked in. Lillard's checked in for Portland. Anthony, the pass to Cantor. Passes it to Anthony. To the middle. The Trailblazers need to get off a shot. Here's Cantor. Out to Anthony. To the wing on the left. And some nice ball movement here by the Trailblazers. Here's Lillard. Here's Cantor. Shoots over Tucker. No good off the back of the rim. Bucks leading by seven. Pass to Portis. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. And the Bucks with some changes. Brook Lopez is checked in for Bobby Portis. Antetokounmpo comes in for P.J. Tucker. And it's Dante DiVincenzo in for Bryn Forbes. The Trailblazers also changing it up. Yusuf Nurkic comes in for Ennis Kanter. And Robert Covington subbed in for Anthony. Good on the three-point shot. Simons has got his first three points of the game. Nice stroke from long range. And if he keeps getting those opportunities, he better take them. Holiday surveying the floor. Trailblazers trail by four. Now the pass to Simons. Floats it up there for Nurkic. Taken away by Holiday. And it's the Bucks on the break. Even Shenzo gets the bucket. Changing ends quickly. He's rewarded with a high percentage look. Yeah, the defense trying to do their best to slow him down, but when he gets room like that, you gotta look out. Pass to Simons. Back to Lillard. Feeds it to Nurkic. Pass to Simons. Off with the layup. We'll have a hard time shaking that one off. Perfect position, plenty of space. Just clanked it. And stolen by Lillard. Here's Nurkic. And finished off by Nurkic. Good hands by Lillard. You cannot get lazy or he'll pick your pocket and go the other way. Well, you look at the career that Dame Lillard has had so far. Taken sixth in the 2012 draft out of Weber State, a small school, but this guy became a franchise player immediately for the Blazers. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Lillard surveying the D. Pass to Nurkic. 
Back to Lillard. Beyond the arc. The rebound by the Bucks. And thinking of Lillard, the numbers over his career are incredible. And Lillard found his strength as a shooter, and boy, did he exploit it. He's been averaging 20 points per game almost his entire career, and he's kept adding to his game as one of the elite players in our league. Five to shoot, pulls it from 20. Lopez tipped back in for two. Lopez has got the lead up to eight now for the Bucks. And they've been working hard on the offensive glass here in the second. And it's paying dividends. They're getting a lot of second chance points. Holiday against Lillard. A really good rebound in traffic. That's what the big fella's there for. A shot by out of the Kumbo. Nobody around. And it's good off the back of the rim and in. And it's Lillard with the ball. He brings it up for Portland. And it's sent back by Lopez. Oh, that's out of there. Not a high riser, but Lopez using his frame. A smart block, if you will. 24 seconds left in the second quarter. And the officials call him for a three-second three violation. And some changes here for the Bucks. Antetokounmpo is checked in for Antetokounmpo. Chris Middleton comes in for Pat Connaughton. And it's Bryn Forbes in for Drew Holiday. Powell, he's checked in for the Trailblazers. McCollum comes in for Inferni Simon. And up the court come the Bucks on the break. Here's Antetokounmpo. And Antetokounmpo slams it in. You know how you want to tell people don't let Giannis get too close? Well, one step past half court, he's too close. Powell for three. And he got that one up in time, but doesn't go in. And so it... Thanks for the great interview, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of basketball following... It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the... A competitive matchup for Milwaukee in the first quarter. At one stretch in the opening period, they filled up an eight-point lead. And that does it for our half... Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. You look at Enetokounmpo really making a difference here. Really impressed with the shot selection through the first half, just taking what he can get from the defense. Yeah, I'm thinking back to the first half. I'm wondering, did he take a low percentage shot? Everything efficient. Giannis is the four with Lopez the five. Holiday out there with Dante DiVincenzo. And it's Middleton in its small forward. That's the group for Milwaukee right now. Yeah, it's pretty much the only way to keep him from taking advantage of you down low. you got to play tough, physical defense. A shot by Holiday. Nobody around. That three off the mark. Trailblazers trail by 12. Pushing it up. Powell dishes to Carmelo. Yep, that one goes. Greg, you were a feared ball hawk in your playing days, and I know you see similar players playing today. No doubt about that, uh, Kev. You know, Ben Simmons, a player at 6'10", with, with those hands, he's incredible to watch on that. How about Fred Van Vliet, though? He's a guy, they say he's 6'1", I don't know, but he gets into you and competes, man, and that's the beauty of our game. You know, you can be as big as the trees and, and have a major impact, or you can be one of those little fellas, as they like to call us, and be equally as effective on the floor. Well, like the Chris Pauls, the Patrick Beverleys, there are a lot of those guys that play the, the ball like dogs. you did so well. Yeah, right. Great, great play. DiVincenzo finds Antetokounmpo. Back to DiVincenzo. And a miss there on the triple. Trailblazers trail by 12. Powell for three. Rebounded by the Bucks. Lopez has got his sixth rebound on the night. An era where we're seeing teams turn away from the slower seven-footers. Brooke Lopez still playing a pivotal role for the Bucks. There's been a lot of talk in recent years, Greg, as how the big man has been played off the floor in the playoffs. That's just not the case with Lopez because he's been able to step out and shoot threes along with being a really reliable rim protector. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. 
Hey, Kevin, thank you. We were all witnesses last year to the pandemic, which struck with worldwide repercussions. The NBA was no exception. The 1920 season was altered, and this season was delayed. But the league is finding a sense of solidarity and resolve under the leadership of Adam Silver. Now, sports is a microcosm of society as a whole, time out, time out. and we all are finding different ways to Sorry. overcome this. Oops. Kevin, back to you. Thanks, D.A. Timeout called the Bucks. And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And, Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. A platoon swap here for Milwaukee. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. The pass to Portis. That shot is off. Great D that time from Nurkic. And now we've got the intentional foul. Really no idea why you're fouling in a situation like that. You know, maybe there's some bad blood between those two. Bryn Forbes, he's checked in for Milwaukee. And he gets a lot of points right there at the rim, but the defense determined not to give up the easy deuce there. He muscles it in through the contact, and they call the foul. He's on his way to the free throw line. Just impressed with the teamwork out there, setting the table for one another. The Bucks have gone one for one, making their previous attempt at the line. That's good from out of the Kumbo. Trailblazers trail by 17. Lillard outside. He dishes it to Covington to the wing right side. Pass to Simon. Jones drives in. Count it. Jones has got his first points of the game. And giving up some inches inside, but makes up for it with an aggressive style. Yeah, the big man not going to slow him down from getting that deuce. Right side, Covington. Here's Lillard. And the layup's good off the glass. Lillard's got his second basket of the game. I don't think he even feels that kind of contact. His focus is just too good inside. Nothing a defense can do. Here is Forbes. There's 53 seconds left to play in the third. Definitely a situation you want to make sure you don't give him too good of a look. Aggressive and incredibly quick end-to-end. -end. Lillard is always a threat on the fast break. Here is Forbes, covered by Lillard. Right side, out of the Kumbo. Passes it to Connaughton. Here is Forbes, and it's sent back by Lillard. And it's the Trailblazers on the break. And the rejection by Adetokounmpo. Two second difference between shot clock and game clock. Here's Lillard. Again, the miss by Lillard. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the D. Changing ends quickly, getting the advantage in numbers and finishing. They've been doing it all night long. Yeah, their energy level's been amazing. Battery bar still full, hustling, and still working hard out there. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits, it may be difficult to overcome. Lux lead by 13. And we'll get going after this from Milwaukee. And one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. Bucks leading by 13 on the court for the Trailblazers. The high-powered backcourt pair, Lillard and McCollum. Anthony out there with Powell, and it's Cantor in at the five. And to the Kumbo inside. He's covered by Cantor. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. Rick Lopez is checked in for Milwaukee. 
Trailblazers trail by 13. Lillard outside. There's the three. The rebound by the Bucks. 17 points was their biggest margin. Here's Giannis. Lopez outside. The feed now to Antetokounmpo. And the slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. Yeah, I mean, maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that one. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. Lillard from outside. But they'll get another chance. Antetokounmpo pulls it in. And so Giannis will bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. Here in the fourth quarter, their defense has been very strong, allowing no baskets. Middleton finds Lopez, and he makes good on the layup. Well-rounded effort, and, and they show no signs of letting up. Coaching staff probably most proud of the effort of this team on both ends of the floor here tonight. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And truth is, Cantor is a fairly high percentage shooter inside, sometimes better in this case to send him to the line. And Cantor drops them both. About a minute and a half through the fourth quarter now. Holiday against Lillard. Outside, out of the Kumbo. In the corner, it's DiVincenzo. Sinks the three-pointer. And the Bucks lead by 18. A great floor awareness as Atentacubo has a sense for when the D has overcommitted or shifted his way. And then he finds where his teammate is open on the floor. And the basket by Lillard. And I like the back and forth here showing confidence from range. It seems like they're going to find out who can make the deepest threes. Right now it's a shootout. Pass to Holiday. Tries from 10. Up again. It's good on the putback. That's a battle down there. It's, it's one of the reasons Lopez has been in this league for over a decade. Solid effort. Lillard attacking. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Lillard's got nine points now in just the second half. That's just tremendous scoring instinct. So fun to watch him work in the half court. Lillard against Holiday. Banked in off the glass. Drew's got such a great build. 205, 210 pounds, a bigger guard. Hard to knock him off of his shot. Around three minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Lillard attacking. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. How about the concentration? He gets hit but stays with the play and gets the finish. And the Bucks with some changes. Pat Connaughton, he's checked in for Dante DiVincenzo. And it's Bryn Forbes in for Drew Holiday. The Trailblazers also changing it up. Yusuf Norkic, he's checked in for Cantor. And Robert Covington subbed in for Anthony. Forbes, the pass to Giannis. Back to Forbes. Over to the wing. Let's the three fly. That shot off. And it's Portland the other way. Here's McCollum. And it's good assisting on the play was Lillard. Uh, Lillard becoming better at staying patient, knowing that at any point in a possession, he can take advantage of somebody. That time he found the open man. And stolen by Lillard. From deep. And it's Connaughton with the rebound. And, and maybe, you know, he thinks he can shoot himself out of the cold spell, but I don't think that's the case. Maybe somebody want to you know, ease up off the threes. Uh, CJ with great hands there, and that steal is going to lead right to that kind of transition. Here's Giannis. Guys, I think this is a game they have to feel good about as we wind through the final moments here in what looks to be a solid win for the Bucks. Their inside game was what secured them the win tonight. They had their way in the paint, and those are all high percentage shots, but the defense couldn't stop them from getting down low. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Brook Lopez. And guys, I just felt he was tremendous tonight. His energy infected his teammates and the wrecking ball on both ends. 
The pass to Connaughton. High post Lopez. Let's it fly from 18. And the shot is long. And here are the Trailblazers now. It's a 10 point game. Powell kicks to Lillard. Powell, the pass to Lillard. Fires from 18. Rebounded by the Bucks. They led by as many as 18 points. Well, this one is winding down now. Milwaukee can watch the clock run out. And Lillard is going to pick up a foul. That's his first foul. There's 14 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Pass to Nora. From deep three-point range. Rebounded by Covington. Lillard attacking. Good on the shot, and that shaves the lead to single digits. Just straight quickness. Lillard showing off the effortless blowback. And so the Bucks take the win. A confident win, and one where they clearly showed the David. Thank you as always. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now.
situation a lot of bodies absent for this team tonight including a big name so the next starting five 
They've got Harris. Jordan is out there with Green. Then it's Kyrie Irving, and it's Harden in at the point. And for Milwaukee, Giannis is the four with Lopez the five. Holiday out there with Dante DiVincenzo. And it's Middleton in at the three, the small forward. Back to Anadokounmpo, and stolen by Jordan. Irving up top, guarded by Holiday. Down low, it's deflected. It's stolen by Anadokounmpo. Holiday gets the bucket. Oh, a nifty finisher. You didn't think Holiday would back down inside, did you? Harden with it. Outside Irving for the three. And Chris Middleton pulls it down. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. The shot by Holiday, no good. Brooklyn with the ball. And it's Harris off the drive. And the rejection by Antetokounmpo. And a lot of attention on Antetokounmpo's offense, but don't sleep on the D. He, he can defend every part of the court and does it with intensity. And there it is for him. Sees his man has the angle on the interior and drops a dime right there. Harden against Holiday. Last to Giannis. And the dunk by Giannis. Savvy play from Holiday. Quick thinking helps him get the ball to the wide open man. Harden scanning the floor. Irving dishes to Green. Back to Irving. Five on the clock. Outside Jordan. Fires from deep. Rebound, Milwaukee. The kick out to Holiday. Bucks passing it around. Middleton the pass to Lopez. Jordan with some nice D. It's all about the defense right there. Without that level of activity, he probably scores it. Yep, that one goes in there. You love the leadership of Kyrie Irving from the lead guard position. Yes, he's looking to score, but he's adept at finding the open teammate. Now here is Holiday. And here in the first, approaching three minutes played. Back to Lopez. Giannis outside. Harden against Holiday. Offline from the top of the key. For Brooklyn, they've gone two of five here, making 40% so far to start out the game. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. Here's Middleton, and it goes down two points. And good to see the hustle from Middleton here. He's a good partner to have on the break, and he's quick to get up the court. Out to Harris. Over Middleton. Harris's shot is off. Listen, he knows he should have made that shot. We'll see if they can work it back to him in that same area. Middleton can't get it to go. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making. Wow, oh, hammering it in. And this is how a floor leader makes a statement. Harden just put the other team on notice. In the corner, it's DiVincenzo. Holiday dishes to Giannis. And Giannis throws it down. And the one-hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand and he's the one doing the slam. Agreed. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. Harris, no good. The Bucks have gone 50% from the field to this point, four of eight. Even Shenzo gets the bucket. Well, that leadership from Lopez wanting to get his guys involved with his passing ability. Moving against DiVincenzo. Pass to Jordan. He feeds it to Green. It's stolen by it's a Kumbo. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock, and he makes that one. Holiday's got his second basket. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. Lopez with the steal. And here comes Holiday leading the fast break. And there's the lay-in. 
Well, six of their last ten points coming off the fast break. Harden kicks to Irving to the inside. And DeAndre Jordan throws it down. If you don't do your work early and push DeAndre Jordan a little bit out of his comfort range, look out. Here's Holiday. And here's DiVincenzo from the arc. And so it's the Milwaukee Bucks with their lead standing at six points here at the end of And regarding the mental aspect of the game, Giannis Antetokounmpo had this. Definitely the game will slow down a lot for me. Well, Greg, that might be why they put up so many points. They all know the roles. They've got the right recipe for everything they want to do on offense. Yeah, his awareness plus unselfishness puts defenders in a no-win situation. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And look what we've seen from Milwaukee. What do you think, guys? Well, credit their anticipation skills on the defensive end. They forced a number of turnovers. And a few of those led to quick scores at the other end. Really active first quarter for them. They've got P.J. Tucker. He's out there with Bobby Portis. And it's Connaughton in it with the shooting guard. So that's who Milwaukee starts the second round. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. Greg, we know the names of the superstars, but there are players that are just under that category who probably should get a little more recognition. Hey, hey Kevin, that's a great point, and I'm going to toot my alma mater's horn a little bit. Christian Wood's a guy that kind of good one yes. reminds me of that he's kind of on the come up how about Devontae Graham mm -hmm. the second rounder back in 2018 but he's showing to be an established young talent in this league and there are many more guys like that and they're going to have their opportunity to become household name the Bucks making a switch here onto the Kumbos checked in and it's out of bounds and they say last touch by Griffin Active hands from him as he's able to deflect that pass out of bounds. Well, that's what you call a game of inches. They talk about it in football. We see it right there. Connaughton tries again. Portis can't get it to go. And there's the foul. It's on Bobby Portis. That is his first foul of the game. And so Brown will bring it up for Brooklyn. They trail by six. Harden the pass to Aldridge. On the wing, Irving. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Uh, guys, Kyrie Irving stronger than he looks. Absorbs the contact and still converts. And he'll be shooting his first free throw of the game here. And, and over the course of last year, he was up over 90%. And with a stroke like that, you see why. Here's Connaughton. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Forbes dishes to Antetokounmpo. Portis kicks to Forbes. Antetokounmpo, no good. Boy, surprised he missed that. The defense just good enough to prevent that bucket. And an offensive master at work. Harden has figured out every way to take advantage of a defense. Second quarter, we're a little over a minute and a half in. Tucker with the ball. Griffin's there. Portis, the pass to Tucker. Lock at six. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. And Brooklyn making a change here. Johnson's checked in. For Brooklyn, they've gone two or three from the field here to open the second quarter. Harden outside. Passes to Brown. Aldridge against Portis. Shoots from the right block. A shot off that time. The Bucks go the other way with it. Now the Bucks moving it up. And he banks in the layup. Connaughton's got his first two points. Well, that, that's three of their last five baskets in transition. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. Harden kicks to Johnson. But they recover it. Back to Aldridge. The second chance effort. And he sinks the layup. A favorite spot of Aldridge's. He likes to operate as close to the rim as possible. Here is Forbes. 
Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Here's onto Takumbo. He's now one for two with that bucket. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. To the left side wing. Aldridge finds Johnson. It's stolen by onto Takumbo. Here's Connaughton, guarded by Harden. There's the pass to Forbes. Three pointer. And to Takumbo. And onto Takumbo on the follow. And the Bucks lead by five. Yeah, just a fantastic job to stay with the play and just not give up. Excellent effort on the offensive backboard. Griffin dishes to Brown. Back to Griffin. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. And that's just too easy. When Griffin gets to that area of the floor, expect him to finish. Now, here's Tucker. He's covered by Brown. Connaughton passes to Portis. Here's Connaughton, guarded by Harden. And now, here's Johnson, the fast break chance. Bucket is good. And now, just a one-point Bucks lead. Quick job of getting up the floor and creating early offense. You don't give the defense any chance to set up. Sometimes you just love an easy look. Here is Forbes. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Here's Connaughton, guarded by Harden. Shot from the low block. No good from Connaughton. For Brooklyn, they've gone 5 of 8 from the floor here in the second quarter. Over 60% shooting. And yet, we thought we might see it. And the coach's challenge has been triggered on the personal foul call. And this is the time now where the officials can review in closer detail what constituted the original personal foul. Getting a different angle can sometimes make it a lot easier to determine. Greg, indeed, and the one thing with replay review is that when you see the slow motion replays, you really get a new appreciation for just the immense speed at which these players are moving at and how fast the action really is and, and how hard it can be sometimes, you know, Greg, to, to make the right call. And the announcement on the review is that the foul was called in air. So they have determined, Greg, to overrule the original call. And, guys, this is what it's called about, getting the call right. And I think in this case, the video review showed that while it was a tough call to make on the floor, they got it right with the review. Free throw good. Giannis. You know, we always talk about what a rare talent Giannis is, and it's true. Uh, unrivaled athleticism and versatility. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here? But the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson. Shaq is here. Kenny's here. It was a fast pace for Milwaukee at the outset. They were able to stretch out their lead to eight points on the heels of a few stops and some quality offensive possessions. And that'll... And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. You look at Anadokounmpo, and this game has been everywhere. The way he was able to finish on the block was incredible there in that first half. It felt like his work on the interior really gave this offense a boost. Let's see if he can dominate the rest of the way. Setting the floor for the Nets. We've got Harden. Griffin is out there with Jordan. Then it's Joe Harris, and it's Irving in at the two. And it's Harris with the ball for Brooklyn. A two-point game. Griffin can't get it to go in. And the timing just not there on that attempted alley-oop. Just a missed connection, and it happens. I'm sure they will go back to it if given the opportunity. Holiday with it. He's picked up by Irving. Onto Takumbo looking it over. On the wing, Di Vincenzo. To the paint. Lopez passes to Yas. And it's Griffin with the rebound. Nets trail by four. Here's Irving. He kicks it to Harris. Over Giannis. Can't hit that one. And Milwaukee the other way now. 
Well, an 0-3 start to the half, you need to pick it up and start to put some pressure on your opponent. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Greg, I think of you in a New York Knicks uniform, legendary arena you played in. What was that experience like? Kevin, intense. I, I remember <laughs> the first time I suited up in a preseason game, we played the Dallas Mavericks. Both teams went up and down the court three times and nobody scored, and the fans started booing. And that's when I knew this is a little bit different. Uh, you better bring your A game. And thicker skin, correct? That too, yeah. And fortunately, there was no social media or internet back then. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Giannis outside. Down to five on the shot clock. A shot by Holiday. Nobody around. Giannis on the follow. Giannis has got nine points. And with his length and explosiveness, it's never a surprise to see Giannis get points on the offensive glass. Great nose for the ball. And, guys, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. Outside Holiday. And it's Brook Lopez with the foul. That's his first foul. And Drew Holiday with the three. Well, I absolutely love the way this guy has controlled the pace tonight. They've been able to play the style they want. Here's what Brooklyn's going with right now. Nicholas Claxton comes in for Blake Griffin. And it's Brown in for James Harden. Back to Harris. From deep. Rebounded by the Bucks. Andre DeCumbo's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Middleton left side. Pass to Andre DeCumbo. Feeds to Lopez. Middleton outside. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. No good on the three. Nets trail by six. Here's Brown, and two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. It goes on Giannis Antetokounmpo. It's his first trip to the line. And he hit his foul shots a season ago at about a 74% clip. And the Bucks with some changes. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for Lopez. And it's Pat Connington in for Chris Middleton. And a switch here for Brooklyn. Green, he's checked in for Jordan. Pass to Connington. On the wing, DiVincenzo. Guarded by Harris. DiVincenzo kicks to Connington. Off target from outside. For Brooklyn, they've gone two of six from the field here in the third. And here's Green outside, and again, it's the Nets missing. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Here's Tucker. Offline with his three. Nets trail by six. A deep three from Irving. Harris inside. And he's going up for the alley-oop. The kick out to Brown. Harris outside. And the Nets miss again. I'll tell you, no matter what he does, he can't find his rhythm, and you get the sense he's starting to press a little bit. That one good for two. Andre the Kumbo's got the lead up to eight now for the Bucks. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Irving. To end the cold streak, and the layup is up and in. Irving's got four points in the quarter. I love that Kyrie Irving doesn't settle for something on the perimeter. He goes right to the cup. And Connaughton has it in the corner. On the wing, DiVincenzo. Oh, and here we go. Green's got it. The fast break chance. And that one, good. And now just a four-point Bucks lead. There is an imagination, a creativity. This guy's passing drives the offense. And here's Holiday. And Tucker has it in the corner. Misses. And that's going to do it for the third quarter.
Bucks lead by four. And time to step aside. And let's take this opportunity now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Well, making the game easy for your teammates. All about putting them in a position to score. That's pretty. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. Timeout called the Bucks. Let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Hey, guys. I was able to listen to what Mike Bodenholzer told his team during that timeout. He's encouraged where they are at this point in the game, but he told his guys things can turn in a blink. What we need to do is execute the rest of the way. So we'll see if they can finish this one off, Kevin. They've got Portis on to Jacumbo out there with P.J. Tuck, and it's Forbes in at the point guard. That's the group for Milwaukee right now. And with that, the Bucks' lead is cut down to two on the bucket from Luwawu. Luwawu's got his first points in this one. Here is Forbes. He's guarded by Johnson. Passes it to Tucker. Second chance shot. And there's the pass to Portis. And here we go. Brooklyn fast break. Brown's got the ball. That ties it up. Just another way Aldridge beats you. As a facilitator, very comfortable making decisions. We're just over a minute into this final quarter of play. Here is Forbes. He's guarded by Johnson. Forbes can't get it to go. And here are the Nets here in the fourth quarter. Their defense has been very strong, allowing no baskets. Really no idea why you're fouling in a situation like that. You know, maybe there's some bad blood between those two. A platoon swap here for Milwaukee. Here's Luau. Pass to Johnson. Kicks it to Aldridge. That one falls. Coming off the Johnson feet. Well, terrific job by Tyler Johnson to do exactly what they want him to do. Find his open teammates. Holiday, the pass to Lopez. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. Lopez has got it all tied up now for the Bucks. Man, that's about the worst defense I can imagine a team playing coming down the stretch. You know, we talk about execution offensively coming down the stretch. To me, it's as important defensively, and they didn't have it. And a new group out there on the floor for the Nets. And Milwaukee has possession. Giannis dishes to Middleton. And the three off target. And so it's Irving. He brings it up for the Brooklyn Nets. Harden finds Green. Back to Harden. Can't cash in from close range. The Bucks have gone just one or six in the field to start the fourth quarter. A bit of a slowdown for them right now. A deceptive guard. Holiday draws fouls by keeping his defenders always on their heels over the course of the game. That one is off. Griffin's check in for Brooklyn. It's the second from the line. Out in front now, although he left one point on the board right there. The Nets have gone three of five here in the fourth quarter. Pretty good numbers coming out of the break. Here's Harden. Lays it up and banks it in. Eight points for James Harden. And this is what great players do. Harden understanding how to deliver in a big moment. Holiday looking for an opening. And it's good for two. And the Bucks lead by one. With experience, skill, and ability, Holiday makes for the perfect go-to scoring option. Back to Irving. Griffin trying to get open. Irving can't get it to go. 
The Bucs have gone two of seven from the field in what's been a cold start to the fourth quarter for them. And plenty of contact on the shot. So two free throws coming up. And Brooklyn called for the foul. Man, with that skill set at 6'11", Giannis might be the toughest guard in the league. Green, he's checked in for Joe Harris. But those were essential. Very steady work at the free throw line in a very tight game. Harden outside. Kicks to Irving. Harden up top, guarded by Holiday. Right side, Griffin. Jordan, the pass to Irving. Pocket two. Jordan trying to free himself up. Keeps it alive. And there's Jordan putting it right back in. Well, DJ with the fearless opportunity, boy. What a shot. Now here is Holiday. Lopez passes to Middleton. On the wing, DiVincenzo. A shot by Middleton, wide open. It's good. And that one sends the bench into a frenzy. I'll tell you, these guys have worked so hard together. Everyone pulling in the same direction. Beautiful to watch. Harden against Holiday. It's Harden with the drive. Jordan kicks to Harden over Holiday. Milwaukee with the rebound. They'll be trying to take as much time off the clock as they can. Exactly. Expect to see longer possessions from this point on. Middleton can't get it to go. One thing we've seen from these guys is excellent passing. No doubt about it. It's fun to watch the way they're operating as a team right now. They are all in sync. And here's Harden for three. Can't knock in the three. Holiday, the pass to Giannis. Back to Holiday. It counts. And it's a six-point Milwaukee lead. And you have to be all right, David. Thank you. And that about wraps it up.
the starters for Los Angeles. They've got Morris, Reggie Jackson out there with Paul George. Then there's Kawhi Leonard. And it's Zubat in at the center position. And for Milwaukee, Middleton and Giannis are the forward tandem. Dante DiVincenzo, he's out there with Holiday. And it's Lopez in at the pivot, manning the middle. Right Adetokounmpo right right against Zubat. And it's out of bounds. The Bucks able to retain possession here. Six on the shot clock. And the rejection by Zubats. And here comes Leonard leading the fast break. Here's Morris outside Jackson. Two terrific defenses tonight, Greg. They do it in a variety of ways. It's been hard for either team to score. You know, strong on ball, in help, in transition, and both coaches doing such a great job of making the adjustments. And listen, the reality is defense still can be a factor in determining who wins and who loses. And we're seeing it right before our eyes. And the pass to DiVincenzo. Kicks it to Giannis. That's good from Holiday on the assist by Giannis. Talk about scoring the basketball. Legit player. Holiday got paid because he can play. Here's Jackson. To the middle. Whoops, there's the 24-second shot clock violation, so they'll turn it over. His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. And early in the game, a defensive play like that goes a long way, establishing the attitude you want. Holiday looking over the floor. That's basket number two with his third shot off to a fast two for three. Good decision maker out of the pick and roll. Holiday calls his own number, rewards his team. It wasn't that long ago that Holiday suffered some injuries that had people concerned about his future. Greg, some injuries are bad luck. We do know this. Drew Holiday's physical, he's fearless, and he doesn't know any other way to play. But thankfully, he's battled through, and he is still playing at an all-star level. Middleton, the pass to Lopez. And the dunk by Lopez. Excellent on both ends of that play. Yeah, the steal was sharp, but the slam topped it off. Turning defense into offense. Every coach talks about it. Perfect example right there. Jackson, it's good, and he makes his first shot of the game. That is a powerful point guard right there. Reggie converting against very tight defense. Jackson against Holiday. And Holiday throws it down. Hey, dunks aren't always for the big fella. A serious power move from the point. Forget just landed in. He wanted to make a statement. Outside Jackson. 151 left to play in the first quarter. Oh, Morris in position, trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. Count it. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. 136 left in the first quarter. George looking over the floor. That shot off the mark. Great D that time for Middleton. Holiday gets the bucket. Holiday's got eight points. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. Holiday against Jackson. Outside Leonard. Looking for George. He gets it there. And George with the stuff. Kawhi is carving up this defense. Love his awareness. He is finding the open man. Holiday against Jackson. And Holiday kicks to Ana de Kumbo. Holiday the pass to Lopez. Just five on the clock. 
Holiday dishes to Lopez. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. Crafty ball handler coming off screens. Drew Holiday has the defense guessing. It guesses wrong. And it's Jackson with the ball, bringing it up for Los Angeles. Trailing here by eight. Even Genzo against George. And George with the stuff. Long and athletic, PG-13 is a terror when he reaches the cup. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Pass to Middleton. And oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Two points, that one goes. He's got six. Now, here's George. Shoots over DiVincenzo. And the last shot at the buzzer doesn't go in for him. And so it's Milwaukee in the driver's seat, up eight points at the end of the quarter. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. Back right after this. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And for the Bucks guys, what jumps out to you, stats-wise? Way to set the table. Offensively, they dominated on the interior. They came in looking to attack from the get-go, willing to be physical and setting the tone. Chris Middleton is out there with P.J. Tucker. Then there's Bobby Portis, and it's Forbes in at the point guard. So that's who Milwaukee starts the second with. And Patterson kicks to Kanaw. To the left wing. Here's Mann, guarded by Tucker. And here's Kanaw. Boy, Greg, there is a lot to like offensively for Luke Kanaw. I tell you, he can shoot it. He's a crafty finisher and really improving as a passer. The question mark is the defensive end. 6'5 in height and wingspan. Not elite to him, so he's got to get by on his instincts and his anticipation. On loads. And so the ball's out of bounds. Middleton touched it last. The Bucks making a switch here. Andre Dacumbo's checked in. Up top, Batum. Under the Kumbo, defending. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. Greg is a point guard. You must have had so much fun being surrounded by so much terrific talent at UNLV. You know, Larry Johnson, Stacy Ogman. I mean, I could go on and on. And you're right. I was blessed to play alongside these guys. They were incredible talents, finishers. And, you know, you don't always appreciate it going through that moment, but sure. the fact that we're all still close and stay in contact, uh, man, what an awesome experience to be a part of that team. Chemistry must have been off the charts on that team. It, it was, and, and we had a lot of personalities, man. It was a different era back then, uh, but I tell you, again, I wouldn't trade that experience for anything. Patterson finds Kennard. Los Angeles with another miss. Milwaukee leading by eight. Here's onto Takumbo. Connaughton passes to Portis. And stolen by Patterson. Now, here's Kennard. Guarded by Tucker. Good ball movement here by the Clippers. And he gets the whistle. Two. And now, yep, this will be a coach's challenge. We thought that might happen. Triggering a review of the personal foul. And this is the time now where the officials can review in closer detail what constituted the original personal foul. Getting a different angle can sometimes make it a lot easier to determine. Greg, indeed, and the one thing with replay review is that when you see the slow motion replays, you really get a new appreciation for just the immense speed at which these players are moving at and how fast the action really is and, and how hard it can be sometimes, you know, Greg, to, to make the right call. And the announcement on the review is that the foul was called in air. So they have determined, Greg, to overrule the original call. 
And guys, this is what it's all about, getting the call right. And I think in this case, the video review showed that while it was a tough call to make on the floor, they got it right with the review. Great tee that time from Batum. Clippers trail by 10. And Patterson kicks to Kanaw. Now Rondo. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. That one goes in. One of the more instinctive passers over the last decade. Rondo quickly locates the open man. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Forbes the pass to Connaughton. Jacks up a three. Offensive rebound. Here's Portis. And finally they hit one. Portis has got the lead up to 10 now for the Bucks. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor. And it's all adding up. Now here's Rondo. He's covered closely. Patterson, that's good. Patterson's got six here in this quarter. Patterson is so active and efficient with his movements inside. Here is Forbes. He's covered by Rondo. Forbes, the pass to Portis. It's good. Portis has got the lead back up to 10 now for Milwaukee. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. Rondo dishes to Batum. Pass to Mann. Six to shoot. And stolen by Portis. Fast break, Milwaukee. Three-second difference between shot clock and game clock. And there's the basket. Whistle blows and a chance for a three-point play. Going to the line for one. Cutting his teeth in the Spurs system, Forbes has improved at keeping his eyes up and finding the open band. Big group substitution here for Milwaukee. Brooke Lopez is checked in for Bobby Portis. Anna's onto Takumbo comes in for Anta Takumbo. Chris Middleton's checked in for P.J. Tucker. And it's Drew Holiday in for Bryn Forbes. George. Pass to Zubats. Outside for George. Trains the three-pointer. George has got seven points. You need guys who can stretch the floor or the offense doesn't flow. Paul George is one of the best at it. Holiday with the three. Oh, and he just knocked down the buzzer, Peter. And that... Okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime. So we'll be back in just a... And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, folks. Drew Holiday was red hot to start the first. He had 11 points and one assist. That's all for now. Say goodbye to the folks. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. An exceptional performance from Drew Holiday. Definitely been challenging the defense here early on, not settling for anything outside. He's been very effective on the move, forcing the action, getting to his spots, and finishing plays. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the second half of basketball. Setting the floor for the Clippers. Marcus Morris is out there with Ivica Zubox. Then there's Reggie Jackson. Then it's Paul George. And it's Leonard in at the three, the small forward. DiVincenzo against George. Anadokounmpo kicks to DiVincenzo. And here we go. Coach's challenge happening right now. This one in regards to the personal foul. Seeing if that was the right call. And I think when it comes to some of the more difficult calls to make, personal fouls can be tough. The action is so fast that it's really tough to catch everything in real time. The wonders of technology, Greg. We've seen replay reviews so effectively and involving the coaches by being able now. The challenge like this is something a lot of people have been hoping for. And the announcement on the review is that the foul was called in air. So they have determined, Greg, to overrule the original call. 
And guys, this is what it's all about, getting the call right. And I think in this case, the video review showed that while it was a tough call to make on the floor, they got it right with the review. High post shot. They get it back. Zubac kicks to Morris. Drills it from outside. Morris has got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. And the one thing about Morris, he doesn't scare you from beyond the yard, but you still have to account for him. The pass to Middleton. Takes the three. No good on that one. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. Leonard finds George. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. A reliable jump shooter, Paul George's accuracy only goes up when he catches in rhythm. The homecoming for Paul George, playing in L.A. with the Clippers. They gave up a King's ransom to OKC. Five first-round picks and Danilo Gallinari and Shea Gilgis Alexander. Into the third we go. Two minutes in now. On the wing, Jackson. No good on the triple. Bucks leading by 11. And guys, the Clippers were willing to give almost anything for PG because they basically got Kawhi Leonard in the deal as well. And let's remember, GA, he could have been a Laker. They would have had to trade away the second pick in the 2017 draft. That or Brandon Ingram. Their loss became the Clippers game. Here's Jackson and the dunk by Jackson. A decisive finish for Reggie Jackson at the rim. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. Jackson against Holiday. Giannis outside. And onto Takumbo, slams it in. I mean, a tremendous all-around talent. Drew Holiday keeping his eyes up and his options open. George against DiVincenzo. And George kicks to Jackson. And Leonard has it in the corner. Passes it to Zubats. Kicks it out to Leonard. Charity stripe shot. Pulled the shot a little left, but the bounce goes his way. I love it, Kawhi. When you have skills from the mid-range, you don't need to force anything. Giannis outside. We've got 123 left here in the third quarter. Lopez finds Giannis. The Bucks working the ball around. And it's sent back by George. Not going to be Paul George with that move. He's too long and too talented of a defender. And it's on a bounce to the Clippers as the Clippers retain possession. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for Lopez. And then for Los Angeles, Nicholas Batum. He's checked in for Morris. Arjan Rondo is subbed in for Jackson. Zubac, the pass to Leonard. The Clippers need to get off a shot. Gets it down to single digits. Zubac has got his first basket. Nice V, Leonard with good timing, good ball placement. Holiday with it. He's got 11. And the officials will call the illegal screen right there. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. It's often a tough call that can go either way, but I agree with you on that one. Here's what Milwaukee's going with right now. Antetokounmpo comes in for P.J. Tucker. And it's Bryn Forbes in for Drew Holiday. George passes to Zubats. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And, and I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. And the Bucks with some changes. Bobby Portis comes in for Antetokounmpo. And it's P.J. Tucker in for Chris Middleton. When your bigs can make free throws, it's a huge advantage. Love his approach to getting to the line. Here's DiVincenzo. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. And the Bucks lead by nine. Just a late reaction there from the defense, and he is always going to finish that one. DiVincenzo against George. 
from 11 feet away. And the last shot before the buzzer is off. We know he's very strong defending the post, but what you like about Bobby Portis at his size, he can really move his feet on the perimeter. And now we have a moment to uh, reveal our State Farm assist of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Yeah, you also have the location of the pass. Puts it right where it needs to be, where his man can do something with it. And with three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store for us. They've got Portis on to Jacumbo out there with P.J. Tuck. And it's Connaughton in at the two-guard spot. That's the group for Milwaukee right now. Portis against Patterson. Here's on to Takumbo. Very hard to move Patterson back with your body, which allows him to challenge every shot. The shot's good from Forbes. Solid rebound there, and with the score like it is, that's an area where they can't afford to get lazy. Rondo looking around. Up top, Leonard. A shot. And that one goes long. Everything worked except for the outcome. You want him to shoot that every time. Tucker can't get it to go. And it's Rondo with the ball for Los Angeles. 11-point game. Pass to Patterson. For three. It's rebounded by Portis. Portis has got his sixth rebound on the night. Connington kicks to Portis. Here's Forbes. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Platoon passes to Mann. Greg, you and I talk about the big man, his role in the current NBA, and how they can possibly carry the standard for the great centers before them. And you played with a great one in, in Patrick Ewing, so you have a great appreciation, I would, I would think, for it. Oh, no doubt about it. And, and I think two guys kind of separated themselves a little bit. Uh, Nikola Jokic and, and Joel Embiid, I, I think, are the two guys that stand out for me because of their ability, in, in essence, to do everything well. They can shoot it, they pass it, they can shoot it from the free throw line, they give you rim protection. Uh, I, I throw Rudy Gobert up there as an elite center as well. Doesn't have the offensive impact that those guys have, but he does impact the game as well. Three young, dynamic centers. Those are good names. Here's what Milwaukee's going with right now. Brooke Lopez is checked in for Bobby Portis. Chris Middleton comes in for Antetokounmpo. And it's Drew Holiday in for Pat Connington. Feeds it to Patterson. Lays it up off the glass. That's the leadership they're looking for from Jackson. Staying patient, surveying the court, locates the open man. Here's Holiday. He kicks to Forbes. Stolen by Jackson. And pushing it up. Here's the Clippers. Here's Rondo. Finished off the break. Playing with high energy, outworking the defense up the floor. And I just love it when the fast break results in a high percentage look. Not always the case these days. Holiday, the pass to Lopez. Middleton looking it over. Back to Lopez. And stolen by Patterson. Leonard attacking. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Jackson passes to Patterson. Back to Jackson. Pass to Patterson. That's good. And it's Jackson with the assist that time. The playmaking of Reggie. A work in progress, but looking good right there. Rondo against Holiday. Down low, Lopez. And Lopez throws it down. Great pass to set your man up with a high percentage look. Outside Rondo. Outside Jackson. Out to Morris. Stolen by Tucker. Holiday against Jackson. 
Here's Forbes. And it's off from three-point range. Clippers trail by eight. Morris into the lane. Patterson passes to Morris. 50 seconds left in the game. Jackson in the corner. Just five to shoot. Morris finds Jackson. Back to Morris. Forbes with the rebound. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that. Over to the left wing. Now, here's Tucker, covered by Morris. Over Rondo. A putback. Great positioning on the putback. And the Bucks lead by 10. And you know they feel good giving their fans a show here while taking care of business. They're going to win by a nice margin. The effort was there all night. And the wide open shot for Morris. So no problem for Milwaukee as they get the win. Some good moment. All right, David, great job. Thanks so much. And that's going to do it tonight, folks. For
Here are the starters for Milwaukee. Middleton and Giannis are the forward tandem. Dante DiVincenzo, he's out there with Holiday. And it's Lopez in at the center position. And for Portland, pairing up in the backcourt, Lillard and McCollum. Nurkic is out there with Robert Covington. And it's Powell in at the small forward position. And oh, here we go. Covington's got it. The fast break chance. With the tip. And Covington stays with it. I love his work ethic, not to mention his hands. You need both to convert those to that. Giannis outside. Some of the best in the game go at it here tonight, Chris. What an incredible guard matchup we have here in this one. Oh, Kevin, you know some all-time greats playing at the guard spots these days. Will be a fun matchup to watch. Lillard, the pass to Nurkic. Lillard against Holiday. And Lillard kicks to McCullough. Back to Lillard. From the arc. And the rebound goes to Lopez. And the Bucks with possession. And Robert Covington picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. 
We're about one minute into the first. Giannis high post. Covington's there. Giannis passes to Lopez. Uh, the size and intimidating presence of Nurkic. I mean, it provides on defense. It's just huge. Awesome at throwing off shooters. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No box out. Oh, it's simple. When you fail to put a body on someone, you're inviting a breakdown on the defensive glass. Here's Lillard following the basket by Brooke Lopez. Lillard looking around. Shot clock at five. McCollum no good. That's another miss. Already they've missed three out of four to start. And Antetokounmpo slams it in. It's just hard to match up with Antetokounmpo's speed, especially in the open floor. Holiday against Lillard. Inside. Nurkic kicks to Covington. And the dunk by Covington. Now, realizing when the defenders have overcommitted, like how Nurkic looks to hit the open man. And Yusuf Nurkic missing a whole calendar year not too long ago, was still involved with the team during that stretch and was a fixture on their bench. Yeah, shout out to my boy Nurkic, but hey, bro, we had some wild shirts on the sideline. I couldn't even watch the game. You was over there dizzying cats up, but uh, I know you were doing your thing, but he would use clothing to call out other players, teams, and commentators. Nurkic doesn't miss words, and I'm glad he's back in playing. And the shot goes in. Entering the NBA, I knew he needed to develop his mid-range game. But he did it, and this opened things up for him. Here's Holiday. No good that time. And it's Portland the other way to the middle. Lopez in the hoop for his third make from the field. He's three for four thus far in the contest. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Yeah, very little resistance. I mean, you had to bring much faster help than that. No, that's good. You got to commend the unselfishness of Nurkic. I mean, a guy you can count on to share the rock. Giannis up top, defended by Covington. Giannis passes to DiVincenzo. And he can't answer back the three-pointer offline. For Portland, they've gone 4-7 from the field, shooting over 50%. And it's good, two points. Howell's got five now. And terrific floor awareness. I mean, it's obvious Covington has a great feel for when his teammates are wide open. Oh, Holiday. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Oh, a nifty finisher. You didn't think Holiday would back down inside, did you? McCollum against DiVincenzo. It's Covington on the wing. McCollum deciding where to go with it. There's the feed to Nurkic. Back to McCollum. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. Holiday finds DiVincenzo. Giannis with it. Lillard picks him up. Puts up a three. The shot by Holiday, no good. Portland's gone, just one of four from three point range here in the first. It's tipped. Your catch against Giannis. You know, we always talk about what a rare talent Giannis is, and it's true. Uh, unrivaled athleticism and versatility. The Bucs shooting their first shots from the stripe in this game. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And the whistle blows on the backcourt violation. He went over and back. Here is Forbes. Launches a three. The shot, no good. At the end of one, a closely contested game so far. Bucks lead by one from Portland. Damian Lillard told us before the game when asked how he. Normal beginnings. No, I'm proud. Well, some of the best stories in our league are about guys who struggle to get to where they are today.
And I really hope the young guys out there are listening to this. You don't have to be a five-star prospect to achieve your dreams. And some good action in the books as we get back to the game that's been pretty close here so far. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Bucks, guys. Well, they used the fast break to generate some easy buckets before the defense could get set. Well, setting the pace of aggressive mind state. I love their approach so far. Anthony is out there with Little. Then there's Norman Powell. Then it's Ennis Cantor. And it's Simons in at the one spot. That's the group on the floor for Portland. Simons, the pass to Powell. Well, good with the triple. And here's Giannis. He'll bring it up for Milwaukee. Three-point lead. Chalk up two there. Andre de has got four points now in the quarter. I tell you what, it's it's almost like stealing to watch how he plays the game from this seat. Here's Simon. Portland again missing. Oh, the defense with no impact at all. Just didn't have the feel for his jump shot. Connington kicks it to Tucker. Here is Forbes. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Anthony down low. Sweet move. The rebound by the Bucks. Andre DeCumbo's got rebound number five here tonight. Tucker the pass to Connaughton. The dish to Hunter DeCumbo. It's not going to go for him. Excellent D from Cantor. to the right wing. Anthony down low. Basket good. Yeah, just superb focus there from Melo. Overpowering the D and still finishes. Giannis outside. Pass to Tucker. Takes a three. Portland grabs the miss. Here we go, one on one. Here's Powell. And it's Simons missing. He usually takes advantage of D like that. Should have been a simple layup. Well, you know, Anthony's getting more floor time last season. He worked his way into the Blazers' rotation. He's still young, though. It seems like he can carve a roll out on this team. Simons surveying the D. And that one is stuffed right through. This is the kind of ball movement they want to get from Cantor. Scan the floor, and when you spot the open man, get it to him. And Simon's a bit undersized at that two-guard position. Only 6'3", but a natural two with playmaking ability. Ultimately, this team wants him to be a scoring threat off the bench. I mean, have him come in firing from outside. He's got a lot of work to get to that point. He's gone two for two at the line so far. And, you know, you'll take what he can give you from the free throw line. Looking at his numbers, just really not one of his strengths. Shooting in the low 60s last season. Catching up on the changes for Portland. Robert Covington's checked in for Anthony. Jones comes in for Little. McCollum's checked in for Norman Powell. And Lillard subbed in for Anferni Simons. Lillard at 10. Oh, you can't give any lane to the basket. Once Lillard sees it, he jumps all over and here in the second quarter of action as we approach four minutes played. Giannis high post. He's against Cantor. Antetokounmpo passes to Lopez. Holiday with the three. And Cantor pulls it down. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. To the inside. Kicks it out to Jones. Trailblazers moving the ball around. Lillard way outside. A miss that time would have put him up. And that was a little bit of a range check for him. Oh, trying to take advantage of that extra space on the perimeter. Oh, we see a lot of this now. Savvy play from Holiday. Quick thinking helps him get the ball to the wide open man. Lillard against Holiday. And Lillard kicks to Jones. Passes to Cantor. Four on the shot clock. Lillard from outside. And he's good on the three ball. 
Lillard's got five points in the quarter. You got to get out on Lillard. I mean, his long distance shot, you know, it's cash. One second separating the shot clock and game clock. DiVincenzo passes to Holiday. Second shot opportunity. And Antetokounmpo gets it to go. Giannis has got 13. And with his length and explosiveness, it's never a surprise to see Giannis get points on the offensive glass. Great nose for the ball. Giannis on the coup. Thank you, David, for that interview. And we'll see you back here after the break. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings to e a tremendous game we're seeing from Giannis Antetokounmpo. He had 13 points. And that should do it. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. You look at Antetokounmpo in this one, he's been everywhere. You just love the patience in that first half. Waited until he got the look he wanted. Yeah, working the ball, getting clean, quality looks. I mean, just efficient basketball through and through. Our second half of basketball, and presented by Gatorade. Let's see who's all fueled up and on the floor to start the third. On the court for the Bucks. Giannis is the four with Lopez the five. Holiday out there with Dante DiVincenzo. And it's Middleton in at the three spot. Here's onto Takumbo. Kicks to Middleton. That one misses. Now the Trailblazers take it the other way. Feeds to Covington. Powell, no one around him. They grab their own miss. Pass to Nurkic. Knocked away. Taken away by Holiday. And oh, here we go. Lopez has got it the fast break chance. And yes, it's good. He's got 15. And this helps build chemistry. Lopez looking to share the ball wherever he can. Trailblazers trail by three. Now here's Lillard. He has seven. That misses at a chance to tie it there. Might take him a little while to find their stride here in the second half. Only one for four so far. They just need to calm down, play their game. Greg, who are your favorite players to watch in the NBA? Boy, that, that's a tough one. You, you know, you, you, you got to like the guys that have, have changed the game in some regards, right? Steph, KD, and Giannis. Uh, those are three guys that are just doing things that don't seem normal. True. Uh, then others who remind you uh, of past greatness, you know, Jason Tatum with Kobe or maybe an Anthony Davis with Hakeem and those are guys that I love and, and then I, the other guy listen LeBron James I, I could watch him play basketball every day you, you know to do what he's done at this stage of his career I, I just think it's incredible and I think our game is in great shape agree on all counts they're on target from the start of the half I mean they're moving well they're getting some good shots uh, that makes them three for four from the field since halftime in the corner, Powell with it. Now, here's Lillard. He's guarded closely. Oh, the timing couldn't have been better on that assist. Bucks leading by three. Here is Forbes. The pass to Connaughton. Back to Forbes. Makes it off the glass. Forbes has got the lead up to five now for Milwaukee. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Lillard, the pass to Cannon. In the corner, Middleton with it. And a great assist by Anadokounmpo as that one goes in. And now an eight-point Bucks lead. Here is Lillard. Nine points in the game so far. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Anadokounmpo kicks to Middleton. Takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. Middleton's got five now. And so Lillard will bring it up for Portland. 
135 left to play here in the third. He gets it in there. The Lillard goes to work in the screen and roll. This is a beautiful thing. I mean, you pretty much pick your poison with him in these sets. Here is Forbes. Up and in on the layup. Forbes has got six in the quarter. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Lillard outside. And he drops in the layup off the glass. He's got 13. Now, what more can you say about Lillard's gritty demeanor on the court? I guess contact doesn't bother. An intentional foul committed, but for what purpose, Greg? I'm not sure. A, a, a scene of confusion right uh -huh. there. I can't imagine why he thought it was a good idea to foul there. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for Antetokounmpo. The wide open look here for Lopez on target from 13 feet. Eight points for Brooke Lopez. An even stronger second half. Tremendous efficiency at the offensive end of the floor. 36 seconds left in the third. To the right side. Here's Simons. And he dunks it down. A power flush with a long hang on the rim at the end of that. that could be, you know, that could be a catalyst for him. It really could. Seventeen seconds left in the third quarter of the game. The shot's good from Forbes. And this is how you want to come out of the half. Prolific and efficient. Oh, just a dream scenario for them so far. Their offense looking like a well oil machine. Here's Simons. Misses the three. And so it's the Milwaukee Bucks holding on to an 11-point cushion as we get ready to take a break. They've set the tone. They love their tempo. They're going to be... How about a look at today's State Farm assist of the game? And definitely deserving of the prize tonight. How about the read he made here? Looking like a point guard putting the pass right on the money. Oh, beautiful feet. Always a luxury to have a big man who can see the whole floor. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. They've got Anthony. Robert Covington out there with Derek Jones. Then there's Yusuf Nurkic, and it's Simons in at the point guard. That's the group in the game for the Trailblazers. Anthony down low, defended by DiVincenzo. Milwaukee leading by 11. Giannis passes to Holiday. Tucker with the ball. On the wing, Holiday. Kicks it down to Middleton. There's the triple. Great D that time from Nurkic. Trailblazer shooting in this game, 45%. For Middleton. And the rejection by Antetokounmpo. And a lot of attention on Antetokounmpo's offense, but don't sleep on the D. He, he can defend every part of the court and does it with intensity. And Portland making a change here. McCollum's checked in. I'm glad we got to see the mobile one block once more. What a play. And those are plays that get you in front and keep you in front. Fast break, Milwaukee. Here's Giannis. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. Holiday's got three assists in the game some tough offensive sets they want to turn it around yeah right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum here's Simons guarded by Holiday even Genzo against McCollum and they force the shot clock violation great D Cantor checked in for Portland Lillard comes in for Anferni Simons Bucks leading by 13. Hanta Takumbo dishes to Middleton. Back to Giannis. And we're about two minutes into the fourth quarter now. That's in for his eighth bucket tonight. A hot eight for 11 shooting so far. The 
Lillard against Holiday. And Lillard kicks to Jones. Dishes it to Cantor. They double him with Middleton. Stolen by Middleton. And Ennis Cantor picks up the foul. That's foul number two for him. Carmelo Anthony has checked in for the Trailblazers. The Bucks also with the sub. Brooke Lopez has checked in for P.J. Tucker. Lopez. Doesn't go for him. Excellent D from Cantor. One-on-one -on -one fast break. And he gets the bucket. Oh, McCullough, he's a threat in transition. He excels at leaking out, and then he knows where to run in the open floor. For Milwaukee, they've gone two for five on field goal attempts in the fourth quarter. In the corner, it's DiVincenzo. Greg is a broadcaster. Who have been some of your favorite personalities to cover? Man, that's a great question. Uh, you know, most of the stars, it, it, I'm a big fan of, of Duran and Steph and LeBron and those guys. Chris Paul is another one that, that's a favorite. Uh, so many other guys, you know, there's so much more personality and so much more confidence these, these guys have working uh, in front of the camera. I think that just makes for a, a better experience. Somebody asked me the other day, who is my favorite? You know who I said? Who was that? Greg Anthony. Oh, you're just saying that because it's true. <laughs> <laughs> Lillard with it. He's picked up by Lopez. And it's Lillard missing. They know they can't give him that shot. The D's are over it, not even giving him an inch of space. And tonight's battle is going to end with a very clear winner, leaving nothing to chance. Impressive win for Milwaukee. The one area that stands out that uh, we've seen tonight from them, their aggressiveness in getting steals, something I know that you really value yourself. I, I think it sparked their offense. Uh, it, it deflates the opposition. And when you have the type of effort we saw tonight, it's pretty hard to overcome that defensive pressure down the stretch. And we watched one guy all night long, guys. And look at the stats. Just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for Giannis Antetokounmpo. And the way he rebounded, he surely was a spark for the team as he was securing everything that came off the iron. Holiday against Lillard. Here's Lopez, and Cantor pulls it down. The Trailblazers on offense. They've given up just eight points in the fourth quarter. Lillard way outside, and that comes off the assist by Jones. Of the remarkable range of Lillard. I mean, you see these shots he makes from distance with ease, effortless release. Onto Takumbo, passes to Lopez. Stolen by Cantor. I think it's safe to call this one a wrap. Uh, yeah, the game got away from them, but hopefully they've learned some things, and, and hopefully they'll be able to make some adjustments next time. Middleton for three, and Cantor pulls it down. Here's McCollum, and the lead is down inside single digits. He's an excellent penetrator. I mean, as soon as McCollum sees a lane, he's all over it. And so the Bucks take the win. They keep, thank you, David. Great interview once again. Thank you for joining us.
Kevin, thanks for and David, he is just getting started. Great stuff. Thanks as always. Here are the starters for Milwaukee. Giannis is the four with Lopez the five. Dante DiVincenzo, he's out there with Holiday. And it's Middleton in at the three spot. And for the Nets, they've got Green, Harden out there with Irving. Then it's Jordan. And it's Harris in at the three slot. And Holiday kicks to Ada de Kumbo. Back to Holiday. Three pointer. Brooklyn with the rebound. Al Harden lays it up off the glass. Greg, we've got two terrific highlight making teams, both athletic in so many ways. You know, it makes me harken all the way back to college and one of my teammates, Stacey Ogden, one of the greatest athletes I ever played alongside. Well, we're going to see a lot of his impact in tonight's game. Green finds Irving. The Nets working the ball around now. And there's Jordan. That's good on the assist from Green. Well, the paint is Jordan's home turf now. He moves and shoots with real confidence inside. On the wing, DiVincenzo. There's the pass to Middleton. Yep, it counts. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Irving passes to Harden. The kick out to Irving. Lots of room. And it's rebounded by Drew Holiday. Boy, defense non-existent there. But they catch a break as he whiffs it. And the shot goes in. That's just what we call man-up strength from Middleton. I mean, taking the hit and then kind of effortlessly knocking down the shot as well. Pass to Jordan. They kick it out to Green. No good from outside. The Bucks have gone three of four from the field to start out the game. Holiday, the pass to Lopez. Outside Holiday, Middleton. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. Middleton's got six points. Only one miss in the first five attempts, clearly feeling it. DiVincenzo against Irving. Back to Harden. Harris trying to get free. The kick out to Irving. From deep. Harris's shot is off. Bucks leading by five. Under the Kumbo with the ball. Picked up by Harris. Holiday, no one around him. Off target from three point range. And it's Harden with the ball for Brooklyn. Green passes to Irving. Off on the layup. You know, I think the effort on defense there has everything to do with why he missed that shot. Well done. That one goes. Count it. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. And it doesn't even matter that he's surrounded on that possession. He's got the size to pull those boards down anyway. On the wing, DiVincenzo. To the paint. Lopez finds DiVincenzo. Four on the clock. Over Irving. Tries again. Fouled on the shot and picks up. And it looks like, yep, it's a coach's challenge on the personal foul. That triggers a replay review by the officials. And, and this is the time now where the officials can review in closer detail what constituted the original personal foul. Getting a different angle can sometimes make it a lot easier to determine. Greg, indeed, and the one thing with replay review is that when you see the slow motion replays, you really get a new appreciation for just the immense speed at which these players are moving and how fast the action really is and, and how hard it can be sometimes, you know, Greg, to, to make the right call. And the announcement on the review is that the foul was called in air. So they have determined, Greg, to overrule the original call. 
And, and guys, this is what it's all about, getting the call right. And I think in this case, the video review showed that while it was a tough call to make on the floor, they got it right with the review. That's platinum level dime dropping right there by Harden. Such a smart pass. Gets it to his teammates on time and on target. Holiday left side. And it's Connaughton atop the key. And Tucker kicks to Connaughton. Shot from 12. They get it back. Here's Portis. Back to Tucker. On the wing, Holiday. The putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. Three-second difference between shot clock and game clock. Here is Forbes. He's covered by Brown. Outside Holiday. But three. Connaughton. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. Tell you what, forget about easing into the game. They came out with tons blazing. And so. And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. And a look at how the hustle game has been going for the Bucks. They've set the first half tone by getting out on the fast break and getting the defenders on their heels. They're crashing the offensive glass hard, too. I mean, they've dropped in several second chance baskets. And now brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. And Brooklyn looking who they've got. Aldridge out there with Griffin. Then it's Harden. Then it's Kyrie Irving. And it's Brown in at the three. And here's Tucker. No points in the game yet for him. Outside Holiday. Again, Holiday missing. Even with every shot clanging off the rim, he seems determined to keep hoisting up these three. It might be time to get inside of that arc. Here's Forbes. Off target with his three. Nets trail by 14. Here's Brown. Forbes with the rebound. Milwaukee's gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Quarter number two. We're about a minute in. Watch the screen. Passes it to Holiday. Here is Forbes, covered by Irving. The Bucks need to get a shot off here. Milwaukee, no good that time either. And for Brooklyn, they're shooting only 21% from the field so far. Fires for three. It's rebounded by Portis. Portis has got four rebounds now tonight. Pass to Forbes. We're closing in on two minutes played here in the second quarter. Holiday trying to free himself up. Portis can't get it to go. And it's Harden with the ball for the Nets. In the second quarter, held scoreless. Irving showing you he's a frame ahead of his opponent with that nice imagination on offense. Milwaukee leading by 12. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, thank you. There will be a subtle but significant change on the court this season. Wilson is now the official basketball supplier for the NBA and its affiliated leagues. In fact, they were the association's original supplier starting in 1946. Now, after a nearly four-decade hiatus, Wilson reclaims that position. Guys, back to you. We appreciate that, David. Thank you. Here's Connaughton. He's covered by Brown. Here's Tucker. A three-pointer off the mark. Next trail by 12. Griffin passes to Brown. Shoots a three. Rebounded by the Bucks. Portis has got rebound number five here tonight. Holiday looking for an opening. He kicks it to Forbes. Outside Holiday. And the rejection by Harden. 
they need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. And really a reflection of their superior effort level to this point. Um, it seems to me they've gone after this win a little bit more. Here's what Brooklyn's going with right now. Jordan, he's checked in for Aldridge. Green comes in for Blake Griffin. And Joe Harris is subbed in for James Harden. He is just really almost playing for the other team. The shooting has just been poor. Yes, that goes in. Greg, you were drafted 12th overall by the New York Knicks and then second overall by the Grizzlies in the expansion trip. So you've had a very unique view of being in that position in two different settings. Yeah, I mean, two very different cities, but really each beautiful in its own way. Uh, the, the New York draft, obviously coming out of college, that was like a dream come true to go and play for Pat Riley and, and then get the opportunity to go and be a part of a brand new team in a new country, if you will, was also uh, a, a really cool experience as well. I hope we can take a petition started by you and me to get the NBA back in Vancouver. I miss and going Seattle, to right? Let's get back oh, in both Seattle. those cities. Exactly. Exactly. And here's Green outside. Rebounded by the Bucks. Portis has got six rebounds in the game. Up again. And I don't care what his size is. You cannot forget to box him out. He's just got a nose for the ball. And he is fearless in attacking the glass. From deep three-point range. But they get it back. On its way from Irving for two. It's a hand on it. And there's Jordan putting it right back in. Jordan's got six. Yeah, Jordan is aggressive as a rebounder. He uses his massive body, athleticism, and long arms to wreak havoc on the glass. Portis finds Tucker. And Jordan sends it back. Hey, you know he's around, and that's what he does. DeAndre Jordan throwing that shot out of there. And we finished one half of basketball. Bucks lead by 12. And we'll be back right after halftime for the start of the third quarter. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Program. I'm Ernie. It's Milwaukee with the advantage at the half. They are leading by 12. And you, big fella, let's get your thoughts on the Bucks. Well, so far, uh, impressive performance by Middleton. Uh, can do a little bit of everything on the floor. Has an incredibly good view. <laughs> and that'll... And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. Without question, Chris Middleton displaying his skills today. He's done a fantastic job of finding open space to operate within the first few quarters. And you know what? It helped that they had a few guys with very hot hands on the perimeter, too. On the court for the Bucks, Middleton and Giannis are the forward tandem. Holiday out there with Dante DiVincenzo. And it's Lopez in at the center position. And stolen by DiVincenzo. Down low. Holiday gets the bucket. Holiday's got the lead up to 14 now for the Bucks. That's their third straight make off an assist. Here's Aldridge. And it's off the back rim. No good. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout and They've really been strong on the glass. Middleton for three. A shot that time, not on target. The Nets go the other way with it. Here's Griffin. That's in coming off an assist from Johnson. Griffin's got his first bucket in this one. It was all about his athleticism when Griffin first came into the league, but it didn't take long to see he was about a lot more than that. He, he's got serious skills down low. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. Far from an ideal start here. I mean, this half just one for four so far. Takes it down to Middleton. Connects from three-point range. Middleton's got nine. 
Well, when you've got the jump shot that Chris Middleton has, you're always a weapon, which means you help create spacing for your teammates. Now the Bucks moving it up. A three for DiVincenzo. Rebound, Brooklyn. A ways to get back into it, but they've got some time. The tendency can be to really rush or push the game, and they need to avoid that. Kicks it out to Johnson, and he gets the whistle for the three-second call. Oh, costly error there. We'll see how they rebound from that miscue. Well, you know what? Their wounds are self-inflicted. I mean, you've got to play much smarter than that. Looking at who's out there now for the Nets. Nicholas Claxton's checked in for Aldridge. Joe Harris comes in for Luwabu Cabarro, and it's James Harden in for Tyler Johnson. Down to five on the shot clock. Adetokounmpo kicks to Holiday. Here's the three. The Bucks getting another chance here. And the activity of the Greek freak around the bucket. I mean, this guy just does not quit. Relentless. Really knows how to finish with authority after misses come his way. Wow. And he made the right read on that play, but just couldn't secure the steal. And you know, fellas, one second quicker, and that's going the other way. Looking at who's out there now for the Nets. Jordan, he's checked in for Griffin. And Irving subbed in for Brown. Got a piece of it. Over in the corner, onto Kumbo. From past the arc, DeAndre Jordan grabs the miss. Jordan's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Stolen by Middleton. 157 left to play in the third. Outside Holiday. Now the pass to Lopez. Shot clock at six. Pass to DiVincenzo. Shot from the top of the key. And that's collected by DeAndre Jordan. Jordan's got six rebounds here tonight. Stolen by Middleton. We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. Kept alive. The kick out to Kumbo. Lets it go with a three. And again, the Bucks miss. Boy, just not scoring with the efficiency he'd like to. Tough quarter for him. And the Nets miss again. Bucks leading by 17. Floats it up for Giannis. You know, he attracts a lot of attention, and Lopez making the most of it there to set his teammate up with an open look. And the Nets shooting only 21% from the field so far. Nets passing it around. Jordan kicks to Irving. Hands it from downtown. Irving's got five now. Watch out now. When this guy gets into a rhythm, it is something to behold. Giannis passes to Lopez. 35 seconds left in the third quarter. And Giannis throws it down. How about the springs of this guy, Antetokounmpo, also known as the Creek Freak? I mean, he just gets up off the ground like a rocket on these alley-oop chances. And for Milwaukee, they're shooting a troubling 38% in the third. Not the finest work of this offense. Inside, Lopez. From deep, onto the Kumbo. The offensive rebound. It's good on the putback. Watch out now. Lopez crashing in to put it home. Harris dishes to Harden. Pass to Claxton. Good if it goes. And the last second attempt doesn't fall. And so it's Milwaukee controlling the game and finishing the quarter with a 20-point lead. And, and a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. Yeah, that's just a brilliant read of the defense. I mean, it was also excellent anticipation of the movement of his teammates before the pass. Just great harmony on all sides. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. Green is out there with Harris. Then it's Kyrie Irving, then it's Harden, and it's Jordan in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. So that's the Nets five. And that one's good, Irving. Well, the superstar players always get the headlines, but you need more great role players, it seems, as you look at the history of champions. 
to win. Uh, so that being said, Greg, what kind of role players do you look for? You know, Kevin, it starts on your best player, and I think you go from there. Obviously, in today's game, spot-up shooting is critically important. And then you got to factor in versatility. You need guys that can guard multiple positions, uh, that give you some rim protection, but obviously that can also shoot the basketball. And you, you, I think it's critical having that instant offense guy coming off the bench as well to when your team's in a bit of a funk, somebody you can trust to kind of light a fire. Good points. You know, even though they're on top in this one, you'd like him to be better out there because he's capable of being better. It sure would make things a lot easier, too. And now we'll get perspective here on how the hustle game has been going for Milwaukee. The activity level defensively, I I've really been impressed with. They've been in attack mode on the defensive end. They've been firing on all cylinders in the transition game, too. I mean, they've really run the break well. Pass to DiVincenzo. From downtown, offensive rebound Bucks. Out to Takumbo, finds Middleton. Here's Tucker. Back to Middleton. A three ball. Rebound, Brooklyn. Harden's got six rebounds here tonight. And here's Harris from the arc. Trills the three-pointer. Harris has got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. And as they're trailing in this game, that they're trying to stay in it with the triple. They're shooting a lot more of them than they did in the first half. The three from Harden. And it's Connaughton with the rebound. Milwaukee leading by 16. Out to the wing. DiVincenzo passes to Connaughton. And that'll be Milwaukee as it goes out of bounds. Bucks retain possession. And Brooklyn making a change here. Griffin's checked in. Portis, he's checked in for Milwaukee. Holiday comes in for Pat Connaughton. Holiday against Irving. And Holiday kicks to Middleton. From outside, off the mark. The Nets have gone three of five here in the fourth quarter. Pretty good numbers coming out of the break. Irving misses. And so Holiday will bring it up for the Bucks. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. Tucker the pass to DiVincenzo. To the inside. Kicks it down to Middleton. The tray. That's his sixth field goal today. And that makes him now six for 11. And relentless in their approach, even with the game firmly in hand. And, you know, until that final buzzer sounds, I mean, you've got to treat every possession like it's crucial. Griffin finds Green. The Nets need to get a shot off here. Here's Griffin. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. Bucks leading by 19 points. And this is going to end in a lopsided victory. I, I love the tenacity and aggressiveness, as well as the ability to close. You really got to give it up here for the Bucks. And guys, the fast break was run, I thought, beautifully all night by these guys. I think that was a big part of their success. Yeah, they definitely ran the break well. A big advantage in that category. And they continually put pressure on the defense. And, you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for Chris Middleton. Boy, he was absolutely relentless at the offensive end, guys. Smelled blood and went for it. And here's DiVincenzo from the arc. Brooklyn with the ball. They've given up just eight points in the fourth quarter. From outside the arc, Harris misses. And so it's Milwaukee now. They have a 19-point lead. On the wing, Holiday. Harris against DiVincenzo. Kicks it down to Middleton. His three-pointers off the mark. 20 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Outside Irving. The three-pointer no good. And out of bounds as Brooklyn gains possession. Substitution. 
And so it's the Bucks taking care of business in this one. To come in. All right, David, thank you. And that'll do it, folks. For Greg.
Los Angeles. Hi, everyone. Greetings from 2K Sport. DA Jacob. Good evening, Kevin. What a story. David, thank you. Here are the starters for Milwaukee. Giannis is the four with Lopez the five. Dante DiVincenzo. He's out there with Holiday. And it's Middleton in at the small forward. And for the Clippers, they've got Ivica Zubats. Batuma's out there with Kawhi Leonard. Then there's Reggie Jackson. And it's George in at the two-guard. 
Now, here's Adetokounmpo. The kick out to Holiday. It's hauled in by Zubac. And the Croatian big man, Ivica Zubac. A big hip-hop fan. His teammates call him Zupa. Uh, <laughs> it's amazing that he was traded from the Lakers to the Clippers, so uh, still home games here at Staples Center. And in this one, Brent, terrific talent on both sides. Everyone getting their popcorn ready. Yeah, lots of people tuning in to this one, Kevin. And, you know, regular season games, there's always talk about, oh, it's another game. This is not another game. This is prime time. Now here is Holiday. Middleton outside. To the middle. A fadeaway. The kick out to Holiday. And good that time. Fundamental play there from Lopez spotting the open man and then sending him the ball. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. Jackson looking around. Five on the clock. The Clippers need to get off a shot. Leonard dishes to Jackson. Off target from three-point range. Well, he's got a great stroke. That one almost dropped. Feeling more and more comfortable in this offense. That's just Chris Middleton making a play. Here's the Clippers. It's a three-point game. Outside, George. Passes it to Zubats. Outside for Batum. Nobody near George from outside off the mark. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. It's good. Just more and more you see these small little plays that give you an idea how much Giannis is assimilating with his offensive game. Angles, passes, and more playmaking. Even Chenzo with the rebound. For Milwaukee, they've gone three of four from the field to start out the game. He gets that one. Oh, great ball movement there. Los Angeles has gone 0 of 2 from deep here. DiVincenzo against George. Outside Jackson. They get it again. Outside for George. Good work there as it goes. Well, he knows how to score, and he does just that. Don't let Paul George fool you. He can finish inside. And here's Giannis. Middleton on the wing. Pass to DiVincenzo. From 13, Lopez, no luck. Well, they shouldn't be giving that shot to anyone, but they certainly shouldn't be giving it to him. That's a big break for the defense. That's a tough rebound if you don't have the length that he does, so the size paying off. Onto the Kumbo, no good. Clippers trail by five. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. 100 kicks to Jackson. Wide open look. No good on that one. Now the Bucks take it the other way. DiVincenzo finds Giannis. Finished off the break. Andre DeCumbo has got his second bucket of the game to go. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. There's 53 seconds left to play in the first quarter. On the wing, Jackson. Kicks it out to Leonard. Fires the three. Milwaukee with the rebound. Here's DiVincenzo. The kick out to Holiday. Back to DiVincenzo. That one drops for him. DiVincenzo's got six points. Just impressed with the teamwork out there. Setting the table for one another. 
George against DiVincenzo. Back to George. And there's the pass to Leonard. This one for three. And that one is off. And so it's Milwaukee in control with the nine-point lead to end the quarter. They dictated the pace, push the ball at every chance, and it's paying off for them. And don't go away. We'll be right back. And earlier we checked it. All part of the process of achieving greatness. Yeah, and, and most guys have had to go through it. The MJ, LeBron, leading a team to a championship rarely happens early on. And glad to have you with us, folks. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And look what we've seen from Milwaukee. What do you think, guys? Yeah, in that first period, they look to push in transition at every opportunity. It felt like they knew that there were openings in transition and just wanted to keep trying to feed that, get out quick. In a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. And the Clippers, looking at who they've got. Morris is out there with Kennard. Then there's Patrick Patterson. Then it's Rajon Rondo. And it's Mann in at the two-guard spot. Shots good by Middleton. Staying confident in the paint. Middleton does a good job sinking that one. Here's Rondo. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. Now he's too good a finisher to blow that kind of chance, but that's going to be a wake-up call to the defense. Rondo with the steal. Stolen by Tucker. And the official signal the backcourt violation. Not very careful there. That's their first of the game, though. So sharp passing has helped them to craft this lead. Rondo with the ball. On the wing, Morris. Back to Ronda. Five to shoot. Misses the three. Bucks leading by nine. Here's Tucker. Good work defensively by Morris. And that was almost a block. Still did enough to alter the shot. Yeah, altering the shot just as long as there's a miss. That kind of energy not wasted. Rondo finds Morris. Shoots the three. Los Angeles with another miss. Looks like the game plan is they're willing to give him that kind of shot. It worked out for them this time, but if they give it to him again, I, I bet three points are coming. Another good play. This is how they built the lead, calling on the right guys at the right time. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. Morris, no good. Bucks have gone three of four from the floor here in the second quarter. And Marcus Morris has raised some eyebrows in the last couple of years, just being a much more efficient scorer. Tucker, the pass to Middleton, and stolen by Patterson. It's stolen. Tucker with the ball. Morris is there. About three minutes played so far in the second quarter. Right side, Portis. Middleton outside. Just five on the clock. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. And last season, Marcus Morris is named one of the hottest on the trade market. Yeah, there's a lot going on in Marcus Morrison's offseason a year ago. A lot of contenders looking to add him to the roster. Handshake deal with the Spurs, switch to the Knicks, and then eventually trade it to the Clippers. So grab your musical chair and try to find a seat. And it's a completely new group for Los Angeles. The Bucks also with the sub. Holiday's checked in. And the Bucks with possession here. There's 126 left here in the second. Portis in the post. Working on Zubox. And here's George. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. Trailing by 13. Leonard kicks to George. Outside Batum. That shot off. 
Great D that time from Portis. The Bucks have gone four of six from the field here in the second. Offensive rebound. Tucker the pass to Forbes. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. And Portis throws it down. Well, an outstanding floor general right there. Holiday has switched between point guard and off guard. And a great feel for when guys are open. Sure. Outside for Batum. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. Los Angeles shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. And, and Batum brings length and a versatile game to his spot on the wing. And, and his defense, always a big asset for this team. He's the kind of player that everybody needs to have out there. Kind of a glue guy. Here's what Milwaukee's going with right now. Brooke Lopez has checked in for Portis. Giannis Antetokounmpo comes in for P.J. Tucker. And it's Dante DiVincenzo in for Bryn Forbes. Here's George after Drew Holiday's score. And with that, the Bucks lead is cut down to 13 after the bucket is good from George. Yeah, Paul George anticipating contact, preparing for it, and just how smooth the finish was that, Kevin. DiVincenzo kicks to Lopez. Back to DiVincenzo. Unloads from nine. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for him. Batum attacking, and Nicholas Batum with the slam. And you want more of this from Jackson. The more unselfish he is, the better the team. And so it's Milwaukee. Their lead at 11 points to end the quarter. What a defensive effort they put up. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. I'm Ernie. It was a fast pace for Milwaukee at the outset. They scorched the hardwood with an aggressive... Thanks for joining. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. Nice game. Great performance by Dante DiVincenzo. Yeah, it's been a great performance from him. Really staying focused on quality shots. Yeah, this is showing that they're not going to play at anybody else's pace but their own. And on the floor for Mike Budenholzer starting the second half. Middleton and Giannis are the forward tandem. Holiday out there with Dante DiVincenzo. And it's Lopez in at center. Here's Holiday. Banked in off the glass. Holiday's got six points. You know, when you look at the balance of power between players and teams, Greg, does it feel like the players now have more say, more control than they used to? No doubt. Uh, we're seeing more players demand trades, sign shorter contracts with opt-outs. And the irony of that is, in my era, our best players were fearful for the length of their contracts hmm. or, or the life expectancy of their careers, believe it or not. And these guys today, they understand their value. Uh, they know what they bring to the table, and they are utilizing that to the max. And is that good, Greg, for the game? I think so. I, I, I do think most guys want to win, and they understand that their legacies are going to be defined about whether or not they do. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. George passes to Batum. Pass to Zubats. That one falls. It's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. Well, just ripping through right there as he, he finds the open spot and gets right through their high basketball IQ play. Onto Takumbo against Batum. Onto Takumbo dishes to Lopez. And that's out of bounds. Milwaukee will retain possession for the Clippers. Patrick Patterson, he's checked in for Zubox. Marcus Morris comes in for Nicholas Batum. Ajan Rondo subbed in for Jackson. And the wide open shot from DiVincenzo buries it from three point range. His shooting has been outstanding. <laughs> Definitely one of the reasons they're up in this game. And that foot injury robbing Dante DiVincenzo of much of his rookie season, but in year two, he had a nice bounce back. One of the things, Greg, that I think is most important for any player at any level 
is any time that you're hurt, you still have an opportunity from the bench to pick up some of the nuances of the game. There's no doubt that Dante did that last year, and this year has stepped in and continued to contribute to this ball club. And the foul called on Kawhi Leonard. That's his first foul. And the Bucks with some changes. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for Chris Middleton. Pat Connaughton comes in for Dante DiVincenzo. And it's Bryn Forbes in for Drew Holiday. Tucker can't get it to go. Uh, he wants that one over again. I guarantee that. Nobody's even in the neighborhood. Mann passes to Patterson. Outside Rondo. Back to Patterson. And it's Patterson finishing it off. Orchestrating right now, Rondo should be playing with a baton. Bucks leading by 12. Passes to Tucker. Here's Connaughton. Back to Tucker. On the wing, Giannis. Out to the right wing. Five on the clock. The putback and onto Takumbo on the follow. Giannis has got eight points. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. Here's Mann. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That's on Brooke Lopez. For Los Angeles, they have shot 75% at the line tonight, going three for four. Zubats is checked in for Kennard. Good on both. And you go back... Giannis Antetokounmpo, the 15th pick in that 2013 draft. Hindsight, obviously 2020, but I think it's safe to say he should have been drafted a little bit higher. Yeah, you have so many of those blogs out there that go back and want to redraft classes. Giannis is sent to Kumpo back in 2013. I'm pretty sure at this point would be taken number one. Clippers trail by 14. 58 seconds left in the third quarter. On the wing, Morris. Kicks it to Patterson. Wants to get it to Rondo and does. Pass to Mann. Throws it up high. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Giannis passes to Lopez. The putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And the Bucks lead by 16. And Giannis just gobbling up the rebound, just spreads his wing out there, and the ball falls right into it. Man passes to Zubac, throws down the alley oop slam. And maybe that'll trigger them. Impossible not to get pumped up after that. Yeah, well, you could see the immediate reaction of the guys in the bench. They are pumped up. Here's Hansa Takumbo. It's good. Now he's shooting six for seven. Well, playmaking and scoring, that's what Giannis is up to here tonight. In the corner, it's Morris. Off target from outside. Giannis Antetokounmpo, he's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for the Milwaukee Bucks. He made his mark in a big way on the boards in that quarter. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. Bucks leading by 16. Paul George is out there with Reggie Jackson. Then there's Batum. Then it's Ivica Zubac. And it's Leonard in at the small forward. That's who's out there for the Clippers. Portis can't get it to go. Clippers shooting has been a little ragged, just 38% from the field. Jackson kicks to George. Jackson down low. Defended by DiVincenzo. Taken away by Holiday. There's the lob to Portis. Takes it down to Middleton. Jackson against Holiday. Well, it was only a matter of time, but they finally get the bucket. They are just killing them on the interior. George looking around. Kicks it out to Leonard. The pass to Zubats. Shoots over DiVincenzo. Zubats no good. And so it's Middleton with it. He brings it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. 
here in the fourth quarter. Their defense has been very strong, allowing no baskets. Here's Portis, and a great assist by Anadokounmpo as that one goes in. Well, you see how Giannis scans the floor. It's actually easy at his size, involving his guys and showing his ability to pick the defense apart. Goes up on the high post, and it's Leonard missing. And really, for some reason, just not a big part of their offense today. Hard to get into a rhythm when you're getting so few opportunities at the rim. For three, Middleton. It's hauled in by the Clippers. Second minute off the clock now in the fourth. Here's Batum. The shot's good. Quickly up court with the basketball delivered a perfect strike. Bucks leading by 18. Here's Giannis. Kicks it down to Middleton. Let's it go from deep. Outside Holiday. Launches it. Reggie Jackson with the rebound. Well, the D really getting away with one there. No one on him. And that's going to be good nine out of ten times. Beautiful transition offense there. That's execution at its best. Yeah, once you burst through a seam like that, you got to look right towards the rim. Sweet play. Middleton against Leonard. Here's Holiday. Back to Middleton. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Clock at four. From about 19 feet, the shot by Holiday, no good. Clippers trail by 16. Here's Jackson. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And how about the confidence right now from Jackson? Not bashful at attacking and drawing attention from there. Teams have dynasties. The 90s, Michael Jordan, we've seen it over the many decades. Over the next decade, though, who do you think is going to lead the pack there, Ooh, that's a great question. You know, with the way Father Time is treating Le Le LeBron, you, you might have to wait and see because he is still playing at such a high level. But, you know, obviously Giannis has got to be on the short list with the Bucs. Uh, for me, I, I really look at Luka in, in Dallas. I, I just feel like with Kristoff, uh, Porzingis, that that duo could just be deadly with how the game is played. But don't sleep on the Celtics with Tatum and Brown and that group that they have with the front office they have, man, I think the league overall is going to be in great shape moving forward. It sure seems that way. Outside Rondo takes a three. Antetokounmpo pulls it in. Antetokounmpo has got rebound number 12 here already in the game. And this is what they wanted. I mean, to announce their presence in this matchup with authority. Very decisive. It can definitely be considered a statement win for the Bucks. You know, a team can have a great shooting night without getting a lot of assists, but tonight they had both. Yeah, and listen, you only get the assist if the guy you give it to makes the shot. So a lot of assists will up your field goal percentage. But this was a great team effort by everyone. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for Giannis. Well, a consistent intensity is what he brought to the floor here. He hit the glass hard, and he came up with a ton of rebounds. Great positioning on the putback. And the Bucks lead by 16. But the truth is, they've had control of this game. Yeah, looks like a veteran team tonight. Oh, what a jam! Oh, you knew something good was coming, Kevin, oh. right? It's always great to get into a rhythm, but do it when it matters. Yeah, it's tough to mount a comeback like this and then fall oh so short. I'm sure that's weighing on them just a little bit. On to Dekumbo, no good. 26 seconds left to play in the final quarter. And that one, good. Well, you see the improvement in terms of high-level playmaking, a great understanding of all the offensive scheme that Kawhi Leonard possesses. Holiday, no one around him. And the three off target. And now here's George, the fast break opportunity. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. That's the power and strength he brings. Kawhi able to absorb the contact. I'm not even sure he felt it and still knocks it down. And so it's Milwaukee with it. They led the game at one point by 20. And so the Bucks take the win. And in the win, a comfortable win in what was, I think, G David, thank you as always.
And that'll wrap it up, folks, for Brent.